guys, so today I just wanted to talk to you about my philtrum piercing, which is this piercing right here in the center of my upper lip. Some people call it a medusa piercing. I don't think I've ever heard it called anything else, but I just sort of wanted to give you some information on how my experience was and what my opinion of the piercing is now that I've had it. So I got my philtrum pierced over a month ago, probably a little closer to two months now. Oh, let's see. It's been like six weeks since I got my full drum pierced. So it is pretty much completely healed. I can honestly say that I love the piercing. I, oh my gosh, hello. I, when I first got the piercing, I didn't know that I would look good with it. I hesitated for months. Like I've wanted this piercing for so long. And I was just like, I will not look good with this. So I finally decided to get it. Just put your butt out of my face. I finally decided to get the piercing and just try it out and see what I thought of it on me, and I'm so glad I did because I absolutely love it on myself. So pain for the piercing, obviously pain is different for every single person. My experience is not going to be your experience because we all experience pain differently. But for me personally, this piercing was pretty painful. I've heard some people say that it was pretty much painless, they didn't feel anything, it really wasn't that bad. For me, this is one of my worst piercings, like it was on the higher end of the pain scale for me. A little more painful than my septum, but not as bad as my nipples. So somewhere in there. I'd probably rate it like a seven and a half to an eight out of ten. But that's my personal experience. It was pretty reminiscent of my septum. If you have your septum pierced, it's kind of that same type of pain, but it's in your lip instead of your nose, which can either make it more or less painful depending on how you experience pain. For me it was worse. I have had my bottom lip pierced like down here before. And that was like nothing. That was like a 2 out of 10. So I was like, oh, this isn't going to be that bad. But actually, somehow part of me was like, yeah, this actually might be, this might be bad. So I was prepared for more pain, but I was kind of thinking it might not be that painful. It was bad. Um, honestly, I think the worst part about it was that it was a bit of a slower piercing. Like it wasn't one of those like mm, piercings. It was one of those like mm, piercings. <laughs> And honestly, I felt that needle go through every single layer of my lip. He pierced it this way, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he pierced it from the inside out. And he had my lip, like, held. So it was like, mm. um, And yeah, I felt that needle go through every single layer of my lip. It was actually pretty excruciating, in all honesty. And you can call me a baby, you can call me a wuss. If your filtrum wasn't painful good for you, but mine was pretty bad. However, that pain only lasted, of course, initially. Like once the jewelry was in and the ball was on, I was good to go. I did have, you know, that initial pain for about a day, a day and a half maybe. Just like that initial stingy, oh my god, I have a new piece of metal in my face, that kind of pain. And I was pretty swollen. My lip was swollen for three or four days. I had like a duck lip and I was like, and I kind of actually liked it because I basically don't have an upper lip. So I would love to get like lip injections or lip fillers in my upper lip. So I actually really liked it for those three or four days. I was like, all right, I have an upper lip. This is cool. But then, of course, that swelling went down. It was completely gone within five days. And I was back to normal. And honestly, it wasn't like really, really bad swelling. Like I wasn't like, you know, like huge lip. I have a picture on my Instagram of my lip the day after and it really wasn't super horrible. I mean, you could tell my lip was bigger, but I don't think anyone was like staring at me weird. Like I went to school, I had class, I had work, you know, and I don't think anybody was like, oh my god, her lip is swollen. Like, it wasn't super noticeable. I did take a lot of ibuprofen and I tried to drink, you know, ice water and stuff like that as much as I could just to kind of keep the swelling down as much as possible. So I'm sure that all of that helped it to not be super huge, but yeah, I wasn't really, really bad. So once that swelling had gone down after a few days, I had this really, really long bar sticking through my lip. If you've had any oral piercing, like my tongue piercing was the same way, had this really obnoxiously long bar. And I kept catching the, like the back, the flat back of the librette post. I kept catching it on my gums. I even got it caught like under my teeth. So I was like, it happened at work and it was horrible. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna die. So after, it was probably about a week to a week and a half after I got it pierced, I ended up at the tattoo convention in Louisville, and there were some piercers there. So I walked around, saw the different piercing booths, and there was actually a piercer there that I had like seen his work before. His name is Sean O'Hare, 
And so I just stopped in his booth and I was like, listen, I just got this done like a little over a week ago, but the, all the swelling has gone down and this bar is so annoying. Can you change this for me? And he was like, yeah, it looks good. Like, I don't mind to change it. So he changed it to a much smaller bar. I believe he said it was 5 sixteenths of an inch in length and it was an 18 gauge. Now I'd had it pierced at a 16 gauge and I wanted to keep it at a 16 gauge, but he said there wasn't really that much of a difference in 18 gauge and 16 gauge. If you use millimeters to determine the width of your jewelry and not gauge, this is much easier for you. I don't know the exact millimeters of those tiny, tiny gauges. Like I, it's, I know it's minuscule though, between 18 and 16 gauge, like it's very, very tiny, the difference. So he assured me that it wouldn't be a problem to switch back and forth between 18 and 16 gauge. He didn't have any 16 gauge posts in the jewelry that like the end that I wanted. He said it was gonna have to be either be 18 or 14. And I was like, well, I don't really want a 14 gauge filter and piercing. Like I am not trying to stretch a brand new piercing. So yeah, go down to 18 gauge, that'll be fine. So it was a 18 gauge Neo Metal threadless post and I chose an opal threadless end like the push-in end to put in that and I I've been wanting opal facial jewelry forever so once I got the piece for my filter and piercing I was like well might as well go ahead and get an opal tongue ring septum clicker and no studs the only thing I still have in is the opal tongue ring I changed everything else but I do have the full opal set for my face so anyway I was super stoked on that so he changed that for me and it was a little pinchy, honestly, like when he was changing it, I was like, Ugh. but I was so glad that he did that for me and I didn't have to change it myself. He did use an insertion taper. So he just, you know, followed the initial jewelry through with a taper and then followed the new jewelry back through, pushed in the end. And honestly, when he, when he like had the new jewelry in, I went, is it in? And then I was like, it's in. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I can't even feel it. And honestly, it was such a relief because I had had this post like hitting my teeth for days. And it was such a relief to have that tiny post in my mouth. I was thrilled. So the main reason I don't still have that in is because a couple weeks later, I had my graduation. And if you all have been following me for a while, you know that my parents are not for my whole body mods life. <laughs> they do not like piercings at all, especially facial piercings. So I really wasn't trying to start an argument at my graduation with my brand new filter and piercing. Like the nose was bad enough when they found out about that. So I just changed it to a retainer. I was like, I don't want this argument. So I actually changed not to like a actual retainer. I changed it to just like a bioplast bar and I just left the ball off. And to be honest, when I put the bar in my mouth, you really couldn't tell it had a piercing, especially if I like made sure it wasn't sticking out super far. It was just kind of like, it was, it was good to go. Um, none of my family said anything, they weren't complaining about it, so that's what I did. I just put in a Bioplast Clear Labrette Stud and I just left the ball off for my graduation and that's actually still what I have in. I just put a little tiny, I think this is like a two millimeter uh, silver ball. I just put that back on after graduation and I was like, you know what, this is, this is good, I'm just gonna leave this for now. So my graduation was two weeks after the tattoo convention. Um, and honestly, after two weeks of leaving that shorter bar in, my piercing healed so great. And that was something Sean said too. He was like, this is going to heal so much better now that you don't have this bar that's moving around in your mouth. Um, it's not, the piercing's not being irritated anymore, so it can heal a lot better. And he was so right, it did. I, I mean, I knew it wasn't fully healed in three weeks, but it was good to go when I changed it. It was honestly good to go. Um, I did have to stretch it back up from 18 gauge to 16 gauge because the posts I had, like the Bioplus Labrette studs I had were 16 gauge, but I just used a 16 gauge insertion, insertion taper. Um, and honestly, it was fine. Like I was able to change it myself totally fine with the taper. I was afraid to like completely slip the bar out and slip a new bar in. So I did follow through with an insertion taper, but I didn't have any problems doing that. It was totally fine. So I would not recommend changing or piercing that soon, but I did and it was fine. Do as I say, not as I do. One of those things, um, like I said, I just kind of did it out of respect for my parents. It felt like a necessity at the time just because I didn't want to start a bunch of drama with a new lip piercing at graduation for my master's degree. Just didn't feel like getting into that. Um, and it has been fine ever since. I honestly do think it's fully healed. Like I said, it's been six or seven weeks or so, something like that. I can't remember exactly when I got it pierced. Um, and I, I think it's good to go. So I am currently on the hunt for an 18 gauge clear bioplast post so that I can 
use my little opal cushion end again. Personally, I feel like the Bioplast is more comfortable than the metal. I just think it's, you know, it's better for your teeth and gums. And I just, I think it's more comfortable in my mouth. So I really like having the Bioplast post, but I do want to wear my little push-in opal end. I have some 16 gauge retainers that have push-in ends, but the opal end will not fit. It just falls right back out. So I am going to order an 18 gauge Bioplast Threadless Retainer Labret Stud. I'm just saying words because I don't know what to say. But yeah, I'm going to order one of those so I can wear my opal end in it. So that's kind of my story of my Filtrum piercing and the healing process. It was a super easy healing process. You know, I did have it changed and then a couple weeks later I did change it myself, but I didn't have any complications from that. Honestly, that first change helped it to heal faster and then the second change didn't like affect it at all. It's not been red or irritated or swollen or anything since those first few days. It has been an absolute breeze to heal. It did take a little bit of getting used to with talking. Like the first two or three weeks I was like talking like this, like I was afraid to like touch my lips together. But now I feel like I'm pretty much talking like I used to. I don't know, but the first few days I like couldn't rub my lips together because it was swollen and sore. But now I don't feel like that's a problem. I feel like I do that normally. So it's kind of the same thing as when I was getting used to my tongue piercing. I just had to like force myself to talk normally. And if you like just keep doing your life as normal and you're not like, I have a new piercing I have to be careful of, I think honestly it's much easier. I didn't really have a list with my tongue piercing because I just kept forcing myself to talk normally. And that's kind of what I tried to do with this as well. I'm not sure the length of this Bioplast post, but it is a little longer than 5 16ths of an inch because it's longer than that initial jewelry that Sean changed it to. So hopefully if I get an 18 gauge Bioplast post or Loretta, then I can get a shorter one. I think I found one that was like a fourth of an inch. So that should be good. But this is definitely longer because it does kind of poke out. Um, even when I'm just like talking normally, but especially like when I smile, it pokes out and like when I do that, it kind of pokes out. I will zoom in in a second so you can see everything, but yeah, that's kind of my, been my experience with it. It's been a breeze. I'm so happy with it and I don't see myself taking it out anytime soon. I have had people ask if I'm going to stretch it. Um, I'm not against it. I'm not planning to stretch it right now, but I do think that stretched filtrums look really cool. I wouldn't ever do it super huge, like probably 12 gauge would be the biggest I'd ever go, maybe 10 gauge, I don't know. I don't think I'd ever go super big with it, but I do think they look really neat. Um, and you do have like more jewelry options and stuff like that with, you know, larger gauge piercings. So I might consider it, but I don't see myself doing it right now. I'm happy in the like 16 to 18 gauge range. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to zoom in now so you can kind of see um, how it looks on me. And you can see all the stuff up close. Ignore my lipstick. But yeah, here it is. Um, yes, I know my nostril piercings look uneven yet again. Uh, this one's really, really irritated, so it's really swollen. I'm almost positive they're even this time, though. Um, when I got this re-pierced initially, it looked great. So I'm hoping it's just the swelling. If I find out it's uneven again, I'm going to be super pissed. So yeah, they do look pretty uneven right now. I don't know, maybe I'm just not meant to have double nostrils. But anyway, here is my filter. And I do still have my septum, I just have a retainer in it. And I think the combination looks really, really nice with the filter and with the septum and the double nostrils. Um, so yeah, there it is. And I don't know if you can really tell how much it pokes out, but you can kind of see there like how much it, it comes out from my lip. So uh, I'm going to get something shorter where it like sits in a little more into my lip. Like I don't want to like squish my lip, but yeah, I do think I definitely need a shorter pose so that it like sits more in my mouth or in, into my lip. But yeah, there's my filter and piercing. Hopefully this information was helpful. And if you're considering getting a filter and piercing, just do it. And if you don't like it on yourself, you can always take it out. That's the great thing about piercings is they're not permanent. And for most people, if you take the piercing out, you know, fairly early on, you're not going to have a huge scar. I don't mind piercing scars. I have some and I really don't care. I think they're kind of cool. Um, like, cause it's like this little, I don't know, memento. Like even when you take a piercing out, you still have scars. I think that's cool, but some people don't like them, but honestly, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. If you have a little scar right here, you know, 
but personally I don't think the scarring would be that bad you know obviously every person's scars differently just like pain is different scarring is different so I can't tell you whether or not you would have a scar if you got a filter piercing and took it out but like I said for me personally I I just don't care so I hope that you enjoyed this video or that it helped you in some way and I will talk to you guys soon bye